The Valana Anti-Corruption Unit had launched a raid during the early hours this morning after its director was tipped off. The first arrest during the operation had been a mason from the area of Mahanama Junction in Panadura who had been in possession of 60 grams of heroin. Later, a three-wheeler driver who had sold heroin to the suspect had also been arrested from the Mahanama Mavata. Under interrogations, the three-wheeler driver had said that a person who is operating a tea stall in the area of Valana is dealing heroin with the use of the Easy Cash platform as a payment method. Afterwards, the Valana anti-corruption personnel had raided the house of the tea stall owner in the area of Kurupumulla in Panadura. While searching the house, the police have found 424 grams of heroin. Later, another suspect who had dealt drugs in cahoots with him had also been arrested from the same area with over 3 grams of heroin. Police have also found 31,000 rupees in his possession, believed to be profits of drug dealing. They said that a prison inmate is the orchestrator of the drug racket. <laughs> A suspect involved in a heroin racket and organized crime was arrested yesterday from the area of Enderamulla after the intelligence division of the police special task force was tipped off. The suspect is identified as 23-year-old Kesel Vatte Kasun, who is a close associate of the underworld leader figure Dinuka Madushan, alias Kesel Vatte Dinuka, who is presently abroad. The suspects had been in possession of 5.68 grams of heroin, and the police have also seized a lorry, three motorcycles and several sharp weapons. It has also been revealed that over 183 million rupees had been transacted by the suspect via mobile banking. Meanwhile, in Kamburu Pitiya, police have found a magazine and 29 rounds of ammunition used in T-56 firearms from under a coconut tree at the home garden in the area of Vitiala. Although the owner of the residence had altered the police, it is reported that he has an arrest record pertaining to various allegations including illicit liquor distilling in the area. In a separate development, four inmates who had been remanded by the Kuliapitiya Magistrates Court with regards to four drug-related cases had broken out through the roof. Various police teams are deployed in search of the four escapees who broke out of the Kuliapitiya remand prison with roadblocks also set up across the town of Kuliapitiya. In another major development, upon information received by the Rameshwaran Maritime Police, which said that narcotics, gold and various other goods are being smuggled to Sri Lanka from India across the international maritime boundary line, Indian police has conducted a search operation. Police also say that a Sri Lankan who attempted to enter Tamil Nadu illegally was detained by the Tamil Nadu police. When the Indian police attempted to question the suspect, he had attempted to flee. Later, the police had apprehended him and had handed him over to the Marine Police of Rameshwaran. The suspect is identified as 30-year-old Pradeep Kumar Bandaranayaka, a resident of Munaragala. Further investigations reveal that the suspect is a police constable attached to the Police Crimes Division. It is also reported that the suspect had transported the stock of 23 kilograms of heroin seized from Sapugaskanda on the 2nd of this month to the area. The person apprehended pertaining to the incident on that day is the police constable's brother. The police constable in question is currently being held at the Danushkodi Marine Police. Leave Ayush, Karabuneti Dantale Paya, Shakti Mat Dattipalakat.